Hey, welcome back everyone. Thanks again for tuning into my channel. I do appreciate it. So today I'm kind of excited. I just got a, a package delivered from Amazon US and it of course had a free shipping. That's why I ordered it. And I got a couple items that I've been waiting to, to do reviews on and actually just check out. So these are a couple things I'm pretty excited about. Now I'll put the link to both of these items that I got uh, down in the description. So if you're curious to see but uh, I'm gonna to get to the main item first because I'm really excited about this item here. So it is a ball cap, right? You know, it's just a ball cap, you know, nothing special. But what's really cool about this ball cap is it comes with pockets. Now, I haven't even checked them out yet, but there's a little hidden pocket here, if you can see that where you can put some money or some notes. And it's got a couple little slots for like a baby pencils in here and stuff. And it says three more pockets in here. So let me pull this out and let's see what we got in here. So inside we have Velcro here. Let's see if I can show you. And it opens up and there's a little pocket here. Quite a large pocket, actually, if you can see the size of my, my finger going in and out of here. So there's three pockets on the inside. In one pocket, let me pull this off here. I don't need the, the sticker. And one pocket on the bill with two little spots to stick something. I'm not sure what you'd really stick there. But anyways, so this is basically an a hat, but it, it, it can double it as your EDC hat very easy. And I'm going to get some items here in a second, but I can imagine having uh, a little knife in here, some band-aids, some maybe uh, matches or a lighter, or just, you know, a little bottle opener or just things, you know, that you can take out of your pocket and stick in a hat. And I mean, what you choose to put in here can be endless, but I'm thinking it would be stuff that I'd probably use every day. You know, band-aids, uh, lighter, bottle opener, and things like that. And it sits all inside of these little pockets. Now I'm gonna pause the camera and I'm gonna go get some items and I'm gonna test it out and see how it actually looks and feels. So stand by for that and I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna show you this second item real quick because I wanna kinda include it in the uh, ball cap BDC if it fits. So they had on sale this little Gerber uh, folding pocket knife that's basically accepts the, the blades, uh, standard issue blades you get at any hardware store. So I'm gonna open this up and take a peek at this real quick because I too am excited about this guy. To have a little flip utility knife that's kind of flat, but at the same time um, razor sharp, right? So. I'm looking forward to this little knife here. And if I don't carry it in the hand, I might carry it just in my pocket because I'm always opening um, packages from Amazon and other places. So now I'm gonna be careful with it. Now it does come with a little cover, a little plastic cover here. You can see it to cover the blade, which is nice. It kept me from cutting myself. It locks open. You heard it click there, solid lock. It's got a nice little finger resting point right here and it you know has a good hand fit so it's basically I can put my hand here and my finger here and I got a, a, a box cutter in reality with a little safety tap here uh, I'm assuming to release the lock I push somewhere in here again this is brand new oh yeah so there's a little tab here where my finger is and if you pull it down oh, it definitely goes down yeah, down and then it will fold. Now, it doesn't fold with the plastic cover on top. But if I pull that off, now it folds really tiny. And it has a belt clip, which is actually pretty cool too. So it is, uh, it's branded Gerber, but it's a extremely tiny box cutter, right? So this is actually really cool. I'm gonna put the little safety plastic down here. So uh, let's see, I just got a piece of cardboard here. 
Yeah, it's sharp, right? So cuts right into it. And these blades with the screw, you can just replace with regular blades. So it's actually extremely cool. So I'm gonna fold this back up carefully enough to snip my fingers. So my goal was to put this into the hat as well. I'll clean up my mess here for a second. And I'm gonna cut the tag off the hat because I'm not returning this for sure. So I don't need to worry about that. Let me get the little trash out of here. So now these pockets do seem like you have to use two hands. And I'll show you what I mean. Let me point down here. When you open these little Velcro pockets, it seems like you gotta be real careful that you're not tearing anything, but obviously they open just fine. So I got an assortment of things that I would just, I just grabbed, you know, literally out of my extra bags. So I got a little bit of paracord and I got a, this is kind of heavy. I might go with the plastic one, but I got a little carabiner to go with the cord in case I need it. I got a whistle, a little emergency whistle. This is my P90 bottle and can opener. Some safety pins, you never know when those come in handy. Now, I'll probably not keep this in the hat, but you can keep a little emergency fishing kit. Some standard band-aids, some small band-aids, and a knuckle band-aid, just one of each. I'm gonna try to get this new uh, knife in there. And this is a, a full-size lighter. So, looking at the weight, and where I'd probably want to distribute things. First of all, I think the band-aids can all go in the small flap. Let's see if I'm showing you this here. The small bill flap right here where you could probably put money or something or a photocopy of your ID or anything. But I'm just going to put the band-aids in there because I think that's a good spot for them because they're flat. It's a thin pocket. So I can get all these things out of the way. Let me fold this. So, and then I push down the Velcro. So all my Band-Aids, I fit in the bill of the hat. Now it sticks up just a tiny little bit. Um, it doesn't affect my vision at all. And you can't see it. You can't, unless you're really looking underneath. So, first thing, got some Band-Aids. Very simple Band-Aids, but they're there. So I'm happy about that. Now, the knife, the big pocket is where I'm gonna put the lighter knife and the rope, right? So my concern is I want to see how it prints from the outside and how it feels from the inside. So in that pocket, see if I'm showing you what I'm doing, I put the little bit of paracord, a lighter, and the uh, knife. So I can feel the weight difference. Now, I have it on my head and I can feel it um, inside. Now, is it lumpy? I can't tell, I'll have to look at the camera. Looks like there's something here I might wanna move around. Oh yeah, it looks like my lighter stood up. So maybe if I can move that till it's flat. So, yeah, so it, it kind of prints, obviously. I might have to move things around um, until I find the right spot for it to sit and how it's gonna sit. But it, it definitely fits in there. That was my messy hair again. So uh, let me open this back up and see if I can examine. So it seems to be the lighter was printing the worst. And I'm gonna pull the lighter out just because it was at the top. And if I look at the, yeah. So taking the lighter out, it obviously fits better on my head too. So I, I can feel that it's there and See, when I put it, my hat on, it slides to the right, which is not where I want it to be. I want it to be centered there. So when it's centered, it doesn't print as bad. Now, I can't feel that on my head, so that, I might not want the knife there. Anyways, this is something I'm gonna just practice with until I get it right. But uh, on the side, let me turn this down so you can see what I'm doing here again. On the little side pocket here, I'm gonna put my little P90 can opener, my whistle, and the carabiner on this side. And on this side, I'm just going to go ahead and put, let me open this without tearing it. 
my fishing kit. Now these pockets go up too, right? So they're, they go all the way up. So they're not just a small little bit there. And I'm gonna put some uh, safety pins in there. Yeah, now the side doesn't print at all. So nothing's, pr nothing's printing on the side that I can tell. I'll have to review the video later. But uh, I got my fishing kit, my P90, a whistle, and some safety pins in the sides. My band-aids in the front, and right now just the paracord in the top. Because right, right here in this front pocket, which is very big, I mean, it's a huge pocket, but my uh, little X-Acto knife is printing. So what I might do, is, I'm, because I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of clever sometimes, is I might take a piece of this cardboard that came with it and go ahead and fold it around and stick it in the front. Let's try that. Let's see if that uh, will eliminate some of the printing. So I'm gonna go open, open this pocket up. Whoop, take my rope out, which came undone. I'm gonna roughly measure what I'm looking at here. I'm gonna use my new knife to cut me out a, cut me out a little widget that I wanna stick in there to keep from printing. So, let me carefully close my knife since I'm not using it. Let me see if I measure, I think I measured that pretty right. So let me open this pocket all the way. I'm gonna stick this piece of cardboard in there. And I'm gonna make sure it's tucked flush all the way down. All right, so it is. So you can't see it, but the cardboard covers pretty much from here across the top. And I can't fill the cardboard, of course. So now my, my thought is, is that when I do put something behind that cardboard that might print, like this knife and this slider, and I'll put the rope back in here, kind of hold everything all together. All right, you can see that, but I did it. I did it. So they're all in the pocket now. Now I'm just pushing with my hand. I can see that it's not printing at all. So let's see how, how it feels. Oop. <laughs> see, when I swing it open, things move around. Cause that little, that little exacto knife's kind of heavy. I gotta get it in the right spot. All right, so I'm gonna loosen the, the hat just a little. All right, well, it pushed the cardboard up because uh, I wasn't paying attention when I flipped things around. And the knife is still printing because it's at a weird angle. All right, so I'm gonna play with this because obviously it's brand new, I just got it. I was just excited to uh, share right away what I got going on here. But even if I pull the knife out, which seems to be, because it, you know, it's a heavy little knife, right? Yeah, now my hat's loose. Let's tighten it up a little bit. So I got a ball cap. And in my ball cap, I have um, a lighter that still prints there. So I, I can get a small, small lighter or a book of matches. I just happen to have that in my pocket, so that's why I pulled it up. So now these caps online, and if you look at the link below, you'll see they have where you can get different colors, and you can actually get patches, uh, Velcroed on, you know, American flag patch, first aid patch, whatever, paramedic, whatever you want to put here, which might help hide some of that printing you know, when you have a big object in here, and that's the cardboard. So I'm gonna play with this, and I may or may not uh, add on to this video later, but I just wanted to share that they make EDC ball caps, and uh, they're relatively decently priced. It feels like very good material. I don't know if you can see it, but it's stitched very well. There's no button on the top, which I like. I don't like having little buttons on the top, because if I, I put a, a helmet or something on over this, I don't want it to button my head. Um, the back is a Velcro strap, so it's adjustable. Um, they have a pretty, pretty heavy duty liner around the rim, so I imagine for sweat and moisture and stuff. Now these pockets are nowhere near filled, right? I mean, I could probably stuff these with a lot of stuff, loosen up the strap, and then I can have a lot of things hidden in my hat. But for now, it's just cool that I got Band-Aid, safety pin, candle, butter, lighter, um, carabiner, fishing kit. 
um, some paracord. I, I guess maybe I can't get this particular blade in there because, because of the weight of it, but this blade is, I'm just really excited about how small um, with the belt clip this blade is. It's just really cool. I'd be almost tempted just to clip it in the front, but then it would be, you know, visible, and I don't like that at all. And I could probably, if I could find a way of this large pocket, if I could get it to host and sit on top of the hat, and what I'm doing there, you didn't see it, is I, I, and it fell down. But I was trying to push it where it sits up here in the top. Maybe some Velcro um, on some of the things that you keep in here so you can utilize the full pocket. Because let me pull this down here. This is a very large pocket, right? But gravity is gravity. So the more you put in there, the more it's all going to want to fall down this way, right? Which makes sense. But uh, yeah, an EDC ball cap. I'm excited about that. And I went with the standard black with, with no Velcro and stuff, just because it would look like an everyday ball cap I would probably wear anyways. And uh, you know, if I'm going out on the street in the sun, I don't have to worry about in my pockets, band-aids, uh, in this case, fishing kit, which I'll probably take out of there and put something more realistic, maybe bug bite or alcohol swabs. Uh, you know, there's just a bunch of things you can put in these ball caps. Um, you know, a photocopy of your ID, in case you get robbed and you know they don't if they don't take your hat you know you have a little maybe a little bit of money stashed in there a copy of your ID that you need it and uh, hey I'm excited so links are below um, I'm not affiliated with this company at all I, I don't even remember the name of the company they didn't send me this hat I bought it with my own cash um, from Amazon US I'm really excited about this little knife just, well, you know I'm excited about both these things. So it was a good day for me. I got some gifts in. Or, oh, I shouldn't say gifts because I paid for them. But I got some new toys in that I'm really excited. And if you like this review, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Um, if you're a new subscriber and you're still watching at this point, that means you like what I have to say. So go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button. Um, and if you don't want to subscribe right now, how about you look through some of all my other videos. Maybe something in there piques your interest. And maybe there you'll see something that you want to know more about and then you hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching my channel. I know there are many other channels you can watch. I do appreciate every one of you. Until next time.